Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're also back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking all about makeup and beauty. So it is that time of the year again. It is time for the Sephora Beauty Insider Sales, or what are they calling it now? The Spring Savings Event. Ta-da! And I'm wearing my Sephora shirt. It's not a Sephora shirt, it just has the, the black and white stripes and I figured it made sense to wear it in this video so I can match the theme. But we are talking all about the Sephora Spring Savings Event, which starts on April 1st. Now hopefully I will get this video up in time so I can give you some recommendations in case you're interested and you want to shop the sale. Now, the sale really only works out well for Rouge members, which is the top tier for beauty insiders at Sephora. They spend the most money. And of course I end up being Rouge each year. I know, the shame of it all. But for Rouge members, they get 20% off and they get to shop the entire duration of the sale, which is going to run from April 1st to the 11th. So they get the most bang for their buck and they get to just pick, choose and refuse because they get 20% off each and every purchase. The next tier down would be VIB members. They get 15% off and they can shop the sale between April 5th and the 11th and then we have just the regular insider which anyone can join and there's no monetary amount that you have to spend to be an insider you get 10 percent off and you can shop the sale between april 7th and the 11th not a really great sale at 10 percent off you can probably do better with these individual brands that do their friends and family sales so if you can hold out for that that may be a better option or maybe you just know somebody that's a rouge that can make your purchases for you and i think the rouge also gets like an invitation that they can extend to any friend for them to get 20% off a select day of the sale. So just check out the details down below. I will leave them down below. I'm not going to go through the whole spiel. You guys probably know all the details if you clicked on this video in the first place. So in this video, I am going to share with you some of my top picks from Sephora. Some products that I've tried that have really impressed me and I think are worth checking out. Now, like I mentioned, sometimes you can get a better discount through friends and family sales. So if you can kind of hold out, maybe hold out, but I mean, if you can't wait, then go ahead and grab them during the Sephora sale. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and talk about my top 15 or so products that I definitely think are worth checking out during the Sephora Spring Savings event. All right, let's start out with a product that I mention in almost every single video. And if you haven't tried this out yet, I definitely think you should go ahead and grab this during the sale. This is from Kosas. It's their Cloud Set Powder. I have the shade Pillowy. This is a baked setting powder and it's so good. I have a lighter shade than you would expect because the shade that actually matches my skin tone deepens up so i would recommend going probably a shade lighter than you think it kind of darkens up a little bit if you use it to set your foundation or even if you use it to set moisturizer so just go a shade up but this is such a great powder it's lightweight it's not heavily pigmented so it doesn't add coverage necessarily but it helps to mattify your skin without it looking like a dry matte finish it just looks like a natural matte it's very beautiful on the skin. It helps to blur the skin. It gives you kind of a filtered effect and it helps keep my oils at bay. I love this powder and I'm not going to buy a backup because Kosas doesn't really use preservatives. So their products have a shorter shelf life. So I won't buy a backup. I'll just buy one when this is completely done. But I definitely recommend checking this powder out if you haven't checked it out already. Another powder on my list is a recent find and I am so in love with this. This is the Say Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder. Now don't get scared when you hear radiant. You might think there's sparkle to it or shimmer. No, absolutely not. It just gives your skin this beautiful, natural, almost lit from within look, but there's no shimmer to the powder at all. I have the shade Translucent Medium, and I love this powder so much. It looks so great on the skin. It matches my complexion pretty well, so if you use me for reference, this would be a good shade match. And it just looks so good on the skin. It gives you this airbrush finish. It sets everything in place. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. It just looks amazing on the skin. 
and I do like the sleek packaging as well but just be a little bit careful I ended up breaking my cap when I twisted it too hard like I was just going ham and I ended up cracking it but I was able to just glue it together so that didn't bother me too much but definitely I think you guys should check this powder out Say hasn't gotten great reviews for their other products like their cream bronzer I didn't really love that much but this powder I am glad I tried it out it was on a whim and I'm telling you right now I have no regrets so I definitely recommend trying this one out another loose powder that I've recently tried that I've fallen in love with and I didn't want to fall in love with because I'm not the biggest supporter of this CEO this is one size from Patrick Star it is the ultimate setting powder I have the shade translucent this is such a great under eye powder oh my god and you can use it all over the face as well I just feel like it looks too perfect all over the face I know that's like really but it does look so fake all over the skin if you want to set under your eyes though I think it's such a great powder I got the travel size but there's a larger size to this I think the travel size is sufficient if you just use it under your eyes it still contains a ton of product so if this is one that is on your list or you were eyeing it I definitely think it is worth checking out if you're looking for an all-over powder go for the say but if you want an under eye powder to set concealer then the one size one I'm telling you I've been really impressed by it Alright, let's talk about concealer since we mentioned under the eyes. I have a couple on my list, okay, so don't judge me, but I just love concealers. I have a thing for concealers and foundations. It's just my jam. So the first one up is the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. The shade I picked up in this is DN3, which is my perfect shade match for my complexion. I don't use a lifting or brightening concealer under my eyes. I go for one that matches my complexion. So if you are looking for that kind of shade, DN3 would be your go-to. But if you wanted like a brightening, lifting concealer shade, then go up in shade. I think these run a little bit deeper than you expect. So again, if you look for brightening concealers, go up in shade. But I love this concealer. It is so good and it's not too pricey either. So even if you didn't buy it on sale, I still would recommend testing it out. The only drawback is the packaging because the applicator and the sifter, they're a little bit... I know, oh my god, that was too much. But the sifter can be a little bit too tight around the applicator. But I found that over time, just inserting, reinserting, it has loosened. I know that sounds bad, but it has gotten better over time. So I wouldn't let that deter you from picking this up. Definitely think this one is worth checking out. Another one, a recent launch that I have been loving is the KVD Good Apple Concealer. I have two shades of this. I have Tan 161 and Tan 167. This is so good. It's full coverage and lightweight. This is more full coverage than the LYS one, but the LYS one is also pretty decent coverage. But this one, I don't know, it's like so flawless under the eyes. It blends out so well and it feels very lightweight. And I like the interesting little applicator. It's not necessarily the most revolutionary, but it's still like a nifty little design and the bottle is cute. I like it. So I definitely think you should try this out. If you were curious and you were on the market for a concealer, it is a good one. And like I said, I have a couple, so just bear with me. The next up is the Tarte C Power Flex Concealer. I know. I tried this on a whim. I saw it on the website, and like I said, I have a thing for concealers, okay? So I was like, I'm gonna try it. This was literally me with my grubby hands, like, gimme. And I'm not gonna lie, the color of the cap was a little bit whimsical, and I was like, oh, it's cute. But it's a chubby tube with a really large applicator, which is probably the biggest drawback to this. But the formulation, the coverage, the shade match, I have 48N, which is tan deep neutral. This is so good, guys. I really love this as well. It has great coverage. It's more hydrating than the other two that I just mentioned, the LYS and the KVD. It's a little bit more on the hydrating side and it's also a thicker formulation. So it's not as lightweight as those two. But if you have dry skin or normal skin, this might be the better option for you. 
But either way, even if you have combination oily skin, I still think this is a great concealer. It feels good on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy, okay? It might be a little bit thicker. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It doesn't get cakey or anything. It layers up really well. It blends out and gives you great coverage. And I love the shade match. So this one as well, I do highly recommend. All right, next up, let's talk about some blushes, okay? I'm gonna start out with this Patrick Ta Blush Duo. So he recently expanded his shade range in the blush duos and added four new ones. Three of them are from the blush palette from Holiday. He divided that up into three different duos. I love that palette so much. So if you were interested in any of the shades from that palette, I will try to link my video so you can check it out then definitely go ahead and pick up any one of those shades but I also grabbed the new shade so there are four like I said three from the palette and then a new one this is she's blushing this is such an easy everyday blush it's so pretty it's like this simple mauvey neutral shade that gives a flush of color to the cheeks without being overwhelming Anytime there's a sale, I recommend trying out Patrick Ta. I think these blush duos are amazing. He makes one of my favorite cream formulas and he has a powder included and you can layer them and they just look really beautiful on the skin. And you can also mix these with other products. So if you have another cream blush, you can use this powder or you can use this cream blush with another powder. You can mix and match. The formulation lends itself to that. This is great for layering. You can also wear it alone. And I think the new shades are just ugh, chef's kiss amazing. And they're a little bit more pigmented as well. So if you have richer skin tone and the other, the original shades weren't deep or rich enough for you, now you have options for richer shades. So definitely suggest checking out the Patrick Ta Blush Duos. They are great. They're a little pricey and I don't think you can get better than 20%. So if you're rouge or you can use somebody's rouge discount, maybe go ahead and try these out. Now if those blush duos are just a little too pricey for your taste, then check out the ones from LYS. They also released three new shades to their lineup. So this is their higher standard satin matte cream blush. I picked up all three shades because I love this cream blush formulation. The other shades, we have really rich punchy shades and then we have light shades, but there were no true like in-between tones. And I feel like these three new shades definitely kind of round out the collection. I wanna see more from them actually because I really like the formulation like I said. These cream blushes are long wearing for me and I have oily skin and they definitely have that matte satin finish. It's not a true matte, it's not glowy or anything, but it just looks so good on the skin. This is Humble, which is a like a deep bubblegum pink. It's not a like a light blue base pink. It's not like Milk of Magnesia or anything. It's more like a corally bubblegum pink, and I love this on my cheeks. They also added Classy, which is a muted peach. This I think is better for medium and lighter skin tones because it's a little bit more subdued than their deeper, richer tones. And then we have Epic, which is for richer skin tones. This is a deep brick orange. I really love this shade and you can go a little bit more light-handed you don't have to go full-on with these colors but they really pick up well on the skin they are long-lasting like I mentioned so if you were on the market for a cream blush these are really great and they're not overpriced either but a discount still makes them cheaper so I definitely think you should check these out as well keeping with blushes because I've had like a love affair with cream blushes as well I have to mention the Valentino Eye to Cheek Dual Use Blush and Shadow. Okay, here's the thing. I love these so much, okay? You definitely need to try one of these out. Even if it's just one, grab one shade. It doesn't even matter, okay? These are not a cream blush formula, but they're almost like a powder cream or like a cream to powder. I don't know how to explain it, but these are velvety. They're silky. They pack a punch. They look so good on the skin. They're long lasting because again, they're not like full on creams. They just look so good, guys. I can't get over it. And I picked up the, like, look at, right? This is even more pigmented than the LYS one. And you see the pan and you're like, eh? And look now, you see the pan? Look at the color and look at that, right? It's so good, it's so good, it's so good. <laughs> like, I want to pick up some more. I don't know which shades I would pick up though because the three that I picked up, I absolutely, like, look at my cheer. 
<laughs> I know, I'm, I'm doing too much. This is shade number seven. It's my favorite one, but I also love shade number five. This is more of a berry tone. Mm, mm, chef's kiss, okay. And then I also have shade number six. This is, what would I consider this, like a rosy tone? Any of these shades would be great, I'm just saying. They're very close to each other though, so you don't necessarily need all three, but I'm telling you right now, get one of these. Get, just, just, listen to me, get one of these, okay? I'm not saying, I'm just saying, try one out. You won't be disappointed, I'm, I'm positive about it. They're so, like, the finish, the look, stop, stop, okay? I can't get over myself. All right, should I stick to lips? Yeah, let me stick to lips. What I'm wearing right now, all right? The, okay. I I don't know how to feel about this brand because Miss Cultural Appropriation herself, Gwen Stefani, came out with a new brand called Give. You are not blood at all. Like, she has the bandana print. I'm like, you're not blood. Stop it, okay? You are not gang affiliated. I'm just like, sit down, leave that to Cardi B, all right? But you know what? The lipsticks I don't know who told me to try this out I was just again I'm like sometimes I get into this zone where I just want to try out things and I went ahead and grabbed the matte version so she released a range of lip products all in red right and the, the shade is called original recipe but they're different formulations so we have a matte one and then we have a shiny one and a liquid lipstick what I'm wearing right now is the liquid lipstick which looks like this. I hate the logo. It looks stupid and I hate the print on the packaging. The packaging itself looks great, right? On its own, but then she has this big ass gold logo. It just looks tacky. I'm not, whatever, okay? The formulation is what we're talking about. This liquid lipstick, I'm wearing it right now. Look at this color, but to be fair, I topped it with the shine. So this is called Anaheim Shine. Again, all shades of original recipe. Stop! I, oh my god, the matte one would be the one that I would definitely recommend though. It is like a velvet matte. It's richly, when I tell you richly pigmented, it's one of the most pigmented red lipsticks I've tried. It's just one swipe, boom, color. It's velvety, it looks luscious on the lips. I love the color too. It's like my perfect red. And I'm always chasing that red that just makes me look like, you know what I'm saying? I love a good red lipstick and a good brown so this oh my god get the matte one try it out I'm saying okay they're really nice I got all three and I enjoy all three the matte formula is my favorite the lipstick the matte lipstick followed by the shine the shine is really really pigmented as well it just has a little bit of a glossy look to it rather than like a flat matte and then the liquid lipstick is actually pretty comfortable not drying at all and again the color stunning so definitely do recommend trying out the Gwen Stefani give lipsticks all right I'm sorry okay I didn't mean to love it but I do and if you're looking for like a really good red lipstick I'm, I'm just like astonished that she was able to accomplish such a great formula like right out the gate it's so good like it really impressed me and it takes a lot for me to be impressed by a bullet lipstick because I already have my favorite formulation so that surprised me quite a bit next I have another Patrick Ta product so this is the major volume plumping gloss again tried it out on a whim I saw it the color looks so juicy like look at that all right this is the shade two cc's it's the pink one it looks so juicy that I was intrigued. It's stupid, I know, but that's why I tried it. And I really love this. If you wear this on its own, it doesn't necessarily, oh, it smells so good. It smells like pink bubble gum tape. Do you know that smell? Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it so much. Mm, I love smelling it. I think it's cinnamon, but it doesn't smell strongly cinnamon. It just smells like bubble tape. I love it. And it looks great on the lips. It gives this glossy sheen that makes your lips appear plump and juicy. It has a slight tingle, very slight tingle, because I hate plumping lip glosses. I hate plumping lip products. They hurt, they sting like the Too Faced lip injection. Oh my God, that is the most horrific thing I've ever tried in my life. Oh my God, awful. This is a comfortable little tingle and it looks good. Like wearing this alone, 
in the summertime it's not sticky it's not thick it's like it's not too lightweight though it's not like an oil or like a lip oil like that lightweight feel but it feels so good on the lips and it doesn't leave my lips feeling dry and dehydrated after removing it so I like this who knew who knew I would like a plumping lip gloss and keeping with the plumping lip gloss situation all right we also have this one from lawless this is the forget the filler lip plumping line smoothing gloss it kind of does the same thing as the Patrick Ta and this one is also juicy looking and it gives a really beautiful effect to the lips this is a little less shiny and glossy than the Patrick Ta one this one is almost just like a regular lip gloss it's not like a flat matte of course not right it's still shiny but it's not as like glass like but I really love it as well this shade I have here is a velvet which is the pink one I have another one again I think yeah I do have another one this is the clear looking one which is rosy outlook I fell in love with this one so much that I got the um, the velvet shade these are really gorgeous as well so recommend checking these out if you're looking for a nice gloss and with the springtime and summertime coming up I feel like I wear glosses a lot more so I'm definitely happy to have those I'm still going with lips guys because I've tried out quite a few great lip products recently that I just have to tell you guys about so makeup by Mario released this whole line with lip pencils and liquid lipsticks they're not liquid lipsticks they're like lip suede and he also has like this gloss this click up gloss so the lip pencils let me tell you okay these lip pencils are freaking amazing. So I picked up two of the shades. I have Jeff and Chris. These are so good. These are the dark brown. Well, I can't put that on. They're dark brown. But he has nudie shades. And this formulation is... I, I don't even know what to say. They're wooden pencils, right? So you do have to sharpen them. But they're so creamy, yet so long wearing. They glide on, define the lips. They're amazing. I love these so much. These I highly recommend, and I think I'm going to pick up a couple more shades of these. I don't really need any more shades because I feel like the two dark brown are the ones that I would use the most. So maybe I should shut up and not pick up any more, but definitely, I think, check these out. You're sure to find a shade that works for you, like a nude that works for you excellent his lipsticks though the bullet lipsticks now you can skip those but he also has his lip suede that I was mentioning I don't know why I feel like I'm missing one of my lip pencils I have to look but his lip suede these are like like a whipped liquid lipstick they're not a drying liquid lipstick they definitely transfer they're they're not budge proof but they're so good this one is mocha latte it's a deep chocolatey brown this is for if you're going for that kind of blurred velvet lip it's not going to give you like a fully defined outline to your lips or anything. It just looks like, I wanted to say put in just now, that, but that doesn't make any sense because it's like a mousse, like a whipped mousse. It's good guys. These are good. I think I'm definitely going to pick up a couple more shades of these. Hopefully they're back in stock because they were out of stock for the longest. And also like his clicky lip gloss things. I don't know if I want to try those out. We'll see, but everything's out of stock. So I might try one of those out, but I definitely say try these out for sure. So his lip pencils and these lip suede. What are they called? They're called Ultra Suede Cozy Lip Creams. Yes, highly recommend. Okay, that's it for lips, all right? We can cut that out now. Next on my list is a gel contour bronzer thing, okay? These are not new to the market, but they're new to me. And I am in love. So I tried the Milk Makeup Gel Bronzers. Fell in love with it. I was like, gel bronzer, liquid bronzer. Like, I'm all about it. Give it to me. And then I saw that KVD Beauty also has a gel liquid contour bronzer situation. And I was like, really? Let me try that out. So these are the KVD Beauty ModCon Liquid Gel Contour. Now, they're not just contour shade. They also have bronzer shades. So I have two of them. I have medium tan warm 50 and medium cool 60. Obviously different. Can you see it? Yeah, different tones. So one is more warm tone, which I love for like a bronzer tone and the cool tone one I can use for a contour. These are so good and they're so lightweight but pigmented and they blend really easily. Like look at my cheeks, okay? So I can't stand myself. But these blend so well, they work so nicely on the skin, they're lightweight, but they don't like transfer or melt off or anything. So 
I think you guys should try these out. I know no one else is talking about them. I'm like, what are you doing? Like somebody speak about these. So if I'm going to be the one to push these, then I'm going to do it. Okay. Try these out. These are really good. Really love them. Top notch. And speaking of bronzer, let's talk about Westman Atelier. You're not going to get a better sale than 20% off. Westman Atelier doesn't go on sale very often, but if you're on the market for a luxury bronzer, okay, you want to splurge a little bit, you want to live a little, you want to treat yourself, okay, then the Westman Atelier Butter Bronzer is where it's at, okay? This is the Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer. It just sounds creamy and delicious. Not like the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, okay? We're talking the luxury here, okay? She is in the shade Soleil Riche. I don't know if there's another tone or if this is the only shade. But this is so good. I travel with this because it just works well. It's not too warm or orangey. It's not too neutral. It's not red. It's just the perfect balance of warm and neutral where it can work as a warming bronzer and also as a bronzer. I love this so much, okay? Definitely top of my list. And then I would recommend a foundation, but I don't have one that I would say stands out to me as one that you have to try out. There's so many great foundations on the market. I feel like if you wanted to try one out, do it. I haven't really been disappointed by most of the foundations that I've tried recently. I just don't have one that stands out as an ultimate foundation for you to try out. But I'll give you some of my recommendations from like recent finds. So we have the Makeup Forever HD. If you can find your shade in this, this is a good foundation. I think they really did improve the formula. I use shade 4Y60. This is a good foundation. I do like it. I also really like the NARS, what is this? Light Reflecting Foundation. This was a good one. I tried it earlier this year. I have the shade Huahini. This is medium deep 2.6. Really like this one as well. And then if you're shopping from the Sephora collection, which is 30% off and doesn't matter your tier, you can get 30% off. Definitely try out the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. And if you wanted to do luxury, how about the Valentino Foundation? This is good as well. I'm actually going to pick up the Givenchy they have this new foundation that I have on my list. Let me let me check out my list, okay? I don't have a long list, by the way, so I can't even do like a wish list. I'll just mention the products in a bit. I'll mention them in a bit. But the one that I want is the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Care in Matte Foundation. I think I'm going to pick that one up. That's in my car right now. But other than that, the Valentino one, definitely a great one to check out. I think these three foundations would be the ones that I would recommend if I had to recommend one. But um, I think any foundation right now, they've been doing some really great things with foundations that I've been impressed by and there's so many out there that it's just like, try it out child. And then for primer, how about you try out the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is still a pretty great primer to try out. I definitely liked it as well. And now I will wrap up with, no, no, wait, 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 one more. It's not another foundation, okay? It's another cream blush, okay? These are the Neo Nude Melting Color Balm Cheek and Eyes from Giorgio Armani. Oh my god, so it's Armani Beauty, really? These are so good. This is shade 45. It's like this brick orange. I love these. These are nude shades. So if you're looking for like a subtle cream blush, which not many brands do browns and nudes like this. So if you are looking for this kind of shade, ooh, this kind of shade, then definitely check out Armani Beauty Cream Blushes. And then a couple of other lipsticks that I'll quickly mention, okay? Gucci lipsticks. Treat yourself to a Gucci lipstick. Just one. I'm not saying get a lot. Just one, a Gucci lipstick. And then another one that's kind of new to the market is the Too Faced Lady Bold Lipstick. I got the shade, the red shade. Oh, it's so good. But I'm just mentioning these quickly because they just popped up in my head. But the Lady Bold Lipsticks from Too Faced and the Gucci Lipsticks, always top notch. Just try them out, okay? And then I will wrap up with the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara. My mascara of choice these days is from MAC, all right? But MAC is not at Sephora, all right? If you can get your hands on the MAC, um, what is it called? MAC Stack Mascara, do that. Do that, it is worth it, I'm telling you right now. But if you wanted to try the Milk Makeup Rise Mascara, 
I've also been pretty impressed by this formulation. It's very comfortable and it feels nourishing on my lashes, which is what, oh, did I break it? No, don't tell me I broke it. Oh, I didn't, thank God. I heard the snap just now, but <laughs> I've really been enjoying this mascara. It does feel nourishing, right? So when I feel like my lashes are, str they're never struggling really, but when I feel like I want to like, you know, treat my lashes, I use this because it does have nourishing ingredients in it. So, I mean, if you wanted to try it out, I don't think it's a bad mascara. So I'll just mention that as one of the mascaras that impressed me lately. And I'll quickly tell you what else is on my wish list. So like I said, I have the Givenchy Prism Libre Foundation. I think I'm definitely getting that. I also have the Danessa Myricks Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. I have both of them on my list. They're not too expensive. They're $32 for four shades. So I'm definitely trying that out. And then I have a couple of other shades of the Makeup by Mario um, Suede lip thing. So I added two more shades of this because I really do like it. And that's it. That's literally it. I don't think any of his, I'll check out his lip pencils, but that's all that's on my list. And I'm literally just going to order that when the clock hits midnight because it goes into effect instantly and I'm just gonna order it and go from there. But those are all the products that I would recommend for you guys to check out. Those are products that have impressed me in the last few months or even just recently because some of them are still pretty new. So let me know what you're picking up, if anything, or you avoid in the sale. I think I'm going to do pretty good this time around because there's not a lot that I want to pick up. I really get caught up when I go in store and start like checking out different things. I'm like, oh my God, I want this. And a lot of brands are releasing like new products. Like Mel Cosmetics is releasing a new palette that I more than likely will get. It's the Gemini 2 palette that is launching during the sale. So if I get my hands on that, then I'm definitely getting it. But there are like new launches happening during the sale that I might like pick up. But other than that, I don't have like a huge wish list this time around. There are not a lot of products that I wanna try out and I feel very happy about that because that means I won't be breaking the bank. But let me know what you guys are checking out in case you are shopping the sale and have fun. Like I said, don't feel guilty if you're shopping the sale, but also try to shop kind of consciously and don't just buy things just to buy things. You know what I mean? I know there's a rush and a thrill from that because I definitely have been guilty of just buying things to buy them, but try to be a little bit more conscious of what's going on, all right? But still enjoy it, have fun, like don't feel guilty at all. And don't let anyone make up shame you, okay? Enjoy yourself, you only live once, YOLO. <laughs> So anyway, I will go ahead and leave a full list of all the products mentioned in this video down below in the description box along with links on where you can pick them up. If you use any of those links, that means I will get a small sales commission, which is a great way to show your support for the channel, especially if you're shopping the Sephora sale. So please consider using my links. It does give me a small kickback so I can put right back into the content. So thank you so much if you do use my links. But if you're not comfortable with that, just shop the way you normally shop, no must, no fuss. I'm still happy you're here. Watching, leave a comment down below show your support that way and give me a thumbs up let me know what you're picking up let me know like your top three items and if you only have one tell me the one that you want to pick up all right let me know down below and I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you should be following me along and until my next video happy shopping I'll talk to you soon bye guys